Good morning, folks. We've got the sun tilted at 90 degrees here so we can watch the plasma filaments line dancing into view. We've got a lot of weather and science to hit today, so let's go to spaceweathernews.com. We find the last 24 hours on our star seeing a lack of sunspots and solar flares. But the large patchy dark region is indeed the next coronal hole. It's facing Earth today. We expect a phi angle shift and magnetic connection to the opening within 48 hours, followed by its faster stream of solar wind. But today, the telemetry in the interim shows decreasing stream intensity, along with geomagnetic conditions quieting down to low, stable levels. Cleanup continues in the east in the aftermath of the winter storm, but the next line has already begun hitting the west. Vancouver up first on that line, unfortunately looks like one storm after another in the forecast. The big climate story today goes to Iran. Many don't know that the desert oases portrayed in many kids' cartoons from back in the day were based on the almost goofily out-of-place blooms of life in the middle of what seemed like hell on earth. But now the palms have died and dried. The animals have died or left. What went from poor long-term management decisions to a 20-year drought has created one of the most desolate places in the world. In the forecast, we're looking at the northern to southeastern part of Australia. The primary low is skirting around Tasmania, but along the convergence line running up the coast, you can find a sneaky cyclone strength low in the waters to the north. The entire line is going to be hit for the next few days, capping off with that stealth low embedded in the convergence itself as it creeps down along the line. Interesting article about coral bleaching. When the 2016 results came back horrifying and the water temperatures were higher in 2017, they gulped and went back out to check. But surprise, they found not the widespread dying they expected, but actually that the hardened species that survived the previous year had adapted to better handle the even worse conditions. They have concerns over biome diversity changes, but all in all, were very happy to see the rapid adaptation of the coral. We're going next to supernova. While the physics of their mechanics isn't settled, even within solely the mainstream paradigm, we do see these nova throughout the cosmos, and indeed, the ultra-rare Iron 60 has tied past supernova to the extinction of large ocean mammals. It represents one of the best timing to evidence to extinction links for supernova that has ever been made. Interesting look out of the SVS at the power loss situation in Puerto Rico and Maria's aftermath. They are still trying to learn from the disaster, seeing how fast help arrived and how fast basic services returned. Full video is linked below in the description box along with all the others. And that includes the 2018 Earth Observing Fleet and the Heliophysics Fleet. Two animations here showing the full suite of craft that are monitoring both our world and the solar system as a whole. They've now got Parker on the Heliophysics one as well. Folks, the Disaster Prediction app is our direct communications pathway in case of a worst case scenario. Until then, it's just the fastest solar flare, solar storm, and earthquake notification system with the only space weather health alerts on Earth as well. We've got your wind maps, followed by shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.15 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.